great to be back in a great organization with great people. So it's good to start building from there. Uh, of course, we are a little bit rebuilding our offensive line since we lost our starting center. And uh, our secondary is a little bit changing due to the fact that we are not bringing that many imports, European imports than last year. So those two positions are in rebuild mode, but it's looking good so far. I think looking back, like what the guys did last year and doing now, I think we have like a two months head start compared to the same time frame that we are now on. Uh, just to be uh, to execute each day in and day out uh, throughout practice, um, especially in the games, make sure we limit the, the mistakes that we have had in the past uh, couple seasons. Uh, make sure we clean those up. Everybody's on cue. Everybody knows where they're supposed to be, where our strengths and our weaknesses are, and I believe that's that's going to be the biggest thing for us this year coming in. I think we want to have a combination of playing, uh, kind of the combination of being really good in fundamentals of our base defense, but then having quite a lot of other stuff to keep the offense guessing and to be able to adjust to different kinds of offenses and different personnel that we will face. Hopefully we'll be able to keep the, the takeaways going. Uh, that's been a real strong, uh, I believe, goal that we've actually stayed with. Uh, make sure we take the ball away anytime uh, it presents itself. Uh, you will see a lot of new faces this time. I'm, I'm still trying to get the names down. <laughs> uh, but you will see a lot of young faces um, and a lot of new faces from old teams, uh, some national players, and uh, some Finnish guys that um, I believe played with the Roosters uh, a couple of seasons ago. Yeah, no, I think we got, we've got lots of players worth, worth looking at. If we, if we think about our national players, I think we have a few really good players who are key players also in the national team. We have Santu at outside linebacker, Santu Agravain. We have uh, Colt in that defensive line. We have Sami Toivonen making a comeback and inside linebacker who played with the Trojans previously, who are all, <coughs> all really, really good players and definitely worth looking at. But I think it's also interesting to look at some of the young guys who played uh, for the first time last year in the Maple League. Uh, Edward Westerin and D-Line, I hope he's going to have a really good season for us this year. And I think uh, Billy Olympin at corner will be pretty good this year. He's, he's, he's continued to come forward really well. Obviously Jay's gone and I mean, I'm, I can't lie and say that that's not a big loss. I mean, Jay was obviously the most versatile player in the Maple League last year. He's played running back, played uh, played some slot for us, caught a bunch of balls out of the backfield, and anytime we needed a big play, Jay was the one. Um, whenever you have a running game like that, I mean, it, it's it's special. But uh, people better not sleep on Cotty because uh, uh, he learned a lot from Jay, and even in the the few snaps that Cotty got last year, he shined. He shined for us, and uh, so I think I think uh, it's going to be a little bit different, um, just because you're not going to see Jay back there. But I don't think we're going to skip any beats. Well, the Northern European Football League decision who's going to play and who's going to be with it came pretty late. And to be honest, uh, we had a little bit of scheduling problems with that as we were dealing with other teams in that sense. We're going to have two competitive games. Stockholm Mean Machine is our team on the rise in Sweden. And of course, at the end of Dutch Vikings, they are a powerhouse of European football. So I think we have a competitive schedule and both of the games are going to be played before our Maple League season. So they work as a good measuring stick to us that where we are going into the season and of course challenge us as a team to be one of the best in Europe. The thing with Mean Machine is we're not going to have a lot of scouting material on them. So I think we'll probably be ready to play a pretty base defense that can adjust to pretty much everything that comes. We can't have a two multiple game plan because we don't really know what they're doing. Uh, so, so I think that's one challenge. And, and, and another challenge with the, both of them in the Vienna game in, 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 at the end of April will be a bit different because they've already played many games in Austria and hopefully have, we have some scouting material so we can do an actual game plan against them. But in both cases I think Individual matchups are interesting, and, and the lack of scouting in the first one means that we can't really be 100% sure where they're going to be, but we need to have some solutions going in that, that how do we handle if, if there is a receiver that we have trouble covering or there's anything that, that we need to be able to adjust to. So I think uh, 
the kind of the lack of information at this point is, 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 is the main thing and hopefully that will ease before we play Vienna, but it, it will not significantly ease before we play the Vienna machine. I uh, believe it, it's going to help us uh, in the best way possible, um, especially after reading your review. Uh, I believe the Austrian league is above us. It, uh, it is, it is. Uh, <laughs> and especially with Vienna winning the championship last year in their league, uh, I believe that game a little more than the mean machines will mean a lot more and it'll show where we need to, to fix our either weaknesses or strengths or and prepare for the season coming up. So uh, that's the game that I'm, I'm really hoping for and wishing for and, and ready for. I hope our guys are following the lead that the coaches are providing for them, uh, knowing what they're supposed to do and we'll go out there and come to play. Yeah, a few of the teams have been changed since I coached last in the Maple League, but, but still, Baza has been trying to build their program by year by year, and every year they have been becoming a stronger team. Um, their team so far seems quite physical as every year, so I'm waiting them to be a tough competitor like in the last year or the year before. Uh, saying that you don't want to do the same flop that they did last year, so they're definitely trying to make sure that they are better. Pumper has a lot of players in their roster, so they have the numbers on their side, so if they can get pull everything together, they should be competitive in that sense. So I think the league is interesting. Porvo will be definitely better than last year. The younger guys are a year older and most of their key players stick around for the next year. Hamelina is a little bit of a question mark, but I hope they pull everything together and they have good quality players there. So I hope it's going to be competitive and even league than more what it was a year ago or two years ago. Um...